So welcome to the Barrett channel, welcome to another video. Um, before I start, I just want to say a um, big, big thank you to everybody who supports the channel, everybody who watches us, and especially a big thank you to those who, who um, pledge their support to us as a channel. There are three ways you can do that. The first one being WeChat, um, the second one being Buy Me A Coffee, and the third one, Patreon. Okay, so today's um, subject is something that comes up a lot in our comment section. Um, and uh, you see many commenters t talking about this. And the subject is organ harvesting. And this is basically, um, you know, they, they think there's, there's an organization here or, or part of the administration here that takes um, you know, kidneys, livers and lungs from people to, to use for transplant surgery. So now, this all started um, uh, sometime last year, an organisation called China Tribunal um, compiled a report. This report, it was picked up by a number of the uh, mainstream media, some of them like the, the Wall Street Journal, the Independent, the Guardian, um, the uh, and Reuters, and this was sort of pushed out um, by those publications. And, and what's odd, you know, had they have checked some of the facts, um, they would have found out there was, um, you know, uh, big holes in the the uh, actual content of the report. And I do find it really, really bizarre how these publications did, didn't bother to do any of that fact checking um, whatsoever. You know, they, these are supposed to be respected media organisers, they, they push out um, stories and, and narrative without, without any checking at all. So in this video I want to dig a little deeper and I want to present some information which, which I found um, while having a look into this uh, subject of organ harvesting. So on the website of China Tri Tribunal, um, it states that the um, report was initiated by an organization called ETAC. So who are this ETAC? Okay, so a little digging about, um, I found the ETAC website. And on the ETAC website, it says they are a, um, a organization that is a non-profit organization. They have a headquarters in Australia and they have national committees in the USA, the UK, Canada and New Zealand. And a quick look at some of the uh, people's names um, on this ETAC website and it quickly becomes apparent that there is a link to the Epoch Times. Okay, so the Epoch Times, what is the Epoch Times? So, Epoch Times, this is a media organisation um, which produces a newspaper and also an online version of the newspaper. And their slogan is Truth and Tradition. And they call themselves a, a pro Trump um, conservative uh, newspaper. However, in August of last year, NBC conducted a, an in depth report on the Epoch Times and found them to be um, part of a Falun Gong. Um, they are actually the, the media arm of Falun Gong, um, along with um, New Dynasty Television, which is the TV arm of Falun Gong, and also Shenyun, which is the uh, traveling dance show, also um, operated by Falun Gong. So the report that NBC carried out um, not only sort of delved into the strange workings of Falun Gong, but it also um, showed how uh, Epoch Times is becoming a um, part of the American right-wing media. And it was also um, shown that over a period of about six months, um, the Epoch Times spent a total of $1.5 million dollars on pro-Trump advertisements on Facebook, uh, pushing uh, that pro-Trump narrative. So back to China Tribunal and ETAC. Um, although on both of their websites they show no connection 
whatsoever to the Epoch Times. It is pretty clear from the people involved that they are linked to the Epoch Times and in turn uh, Falun Gong. So it's, it's pretty obvious that um, this China Tribunal's report is, is not independent at all. And in fact, um, they, they relied heavily on, on ETAC uh, when they were compiling the report and the, the authors even also um, suggest that in the conclusion of the report. So Falun Gong um, are a, a sort of organization. They, they call themselves a, a religious organization. Uh, and also many people say they're a re religious organization. However, there's many people that refer to them as a religious cult. Um, and they actually travel around many North American cities um, promoting this organ harvesting narrative um, to try and um, sign up um, new members to, to their organization. Um, and as I said earlier, they also run a, um, a, a traveling um, dance show called Shenyan, and that also promotes a um, very political narrative in, in the disguise of uh, traditional culture dance. Some more interesting information that I found was um, the, this report by China Tribunal also relies heavily on a, another report that was written, initially written in 2006 and the title of that um, report was called Bloody Harvest. Now what's interesting about this is uh, the authors involved are also members of some other right-wing groups that are um, sort of favour regime change and these groups um, that favour regime change are also very close to a number of Western governments. Um, other things I found when I was, I was uh, looking through information is um, there's a journalist uh, called Leah Tolentino um, and she wrote an article in the New Yorker and she also um, you know, said how um, people are finding some of the, the things about Falun Gong more and more strange. She also talks um, how um, Falun Gong resists any um, uh, sort of journalist interviews or, or, or you know, uh, people, people looking around and also how they harass um, journalists who try to look further into them. And then she also talks about a um, journalist, Simon Denyer, who, who wrote an article um, and he was um, very, very sort of sceptical about this uh, organ harvesting narrative that, that Falun Gong push. Um, there, was, there was no proof that this is actually the case. So that is my opinion from all what I, I read and, and researched while looking at this. It appears to me that there is no actual factual evidence of this organ harvesting and it's just a, a narrative that's being pushed by Falun Gong in order to um, discredit the uh, Chinese authorities. And you know it's it's strange that you know none of these um, organizations in the West um, push back against this because also it suits their um, narrative about being negative towards China. What strikes me even more is that um, you know how nowadays um, mainstream media they can push out these narratives, these storylines and you know uh, reach huge amounts of the, the Western population without anybody even bothering to check any, um, whether any of the, the story is actually factual or, or it's backed up by any sort of factual claims. Um, I do find this really, you know, quite disturbing. And I think what I would say is that, you know, whenever you read any news, um, you know, this is more and more important nowadays. Whenever you read any news, you should actually check the facts or, or look for, for other um, outlets to to maybe um, you know have a counter argument against what you're reading because it seems more and more especially the um, mainstream media is, is just publishing news without without fact checking it at all so to to produce this video I, I did quite a bit of research um, I, I 
referenced a number of articles. Now what I will do, I will put links to all those articles in the description. So, um, you know, I, I've only sort of covered it briefly here because there's a, there's a lot of information and it will be far too complex to, to cover all that information um, in, in a video. So what I've done, as I say, I've linked all the um, reports that I, I use for this in the description. So, you know, if you're in any doubt to, to what I'm saying, please go and read those reports, uh, read those articles by the journalists. It's, it's really quite eye-opening. Um, and, you know, I, I hope that you can sort of take something away from this and, um, you know, see, see stories for facts rather than just what you, you, um, you know, are first led to believe. Anyway, that brings me to the end of another video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up because it really helps our algorithm. If you like the channel in general, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're really into us, um, hit those bells and you'll get notified as soon as we uh, release a new video. I'll also put our social links, our Twitter and Instagram feed links on the screen. So if you want to catch up with us on social media, we are quite active there, please do. But as always, for now, take care.